I'd like to share with you a little about the life of Irina Sendler. To my shame, I had never heard of Irina Sendler before. I started to research for an inspiring woman to share with you. I'd like to rectify that now and share with you why she inspires me and hope you will be as inspired as I have been. Irina was a Jewish social worker and qualified nurse who smuggled thousands of children, Jewish children, out of the Warsaw Ghetto and from certain death in the early 1940s. She was born in 1910 in Warsaw, Poland, and was an only child. But she grew up in the town of Otwok, where, she was, where there was a large Jewish community. Her father was a well-known doctor and one of the first Polish socialites. Irina was greatly influenced by him. She studied social work at the university in Warsaw and when she gained her degree she started working for a local government social welfare organisation and soon became a senior administrator. She and her team worked across Warsaw supporting orphans, the poor and the elderly. As you probably already know, the Germans invaded Poland in 1939 and in 1940 the Germans forced 400,000 Jews living in Warsaw into ghettos where thousands died from disease and starvation. Irina was upset about what was happening to the Jewish people and what they were going through and she decided to register as many of them as she could under Christian names to protect them. She also lied on official documents that many of them had infectious diseases which meant that they could avoid further investigation and inspection. Had she been found out, she would have been put to death for what she'd been doing. In 1943, Irina started to work for the Council to Aid Jews, known as the Zegota, to run their children's section. She went by the false name of Isolanta, to disguise her identity and protect her family. Because she worked for the social welfare department, she had a special pass to travel in and out of the Warsaw Ghetto, where she noticed the terrible conditions the Jewish people lived in. So Irina and her team of about two dozen people started smuggling Jewish children out of the ghetto to get them to a safer place. The babies and children were hidden inside bags that were filled with other things. Sometimes they smuggled children out by hiding them inside coffins. These Jewish children were given false identities and placed in orphanages, convents and non non-Jewish homes. The team was able to save over 2,500 Jewish children and babies. Sendler documented the children's names in coded forms and buried them under a tree inside a jar to protect them. Sadly, her activities were eventually discovered by the Gestapo and she was arrested in 1943 and was sent to prison. 
This led to Irina being severely tortured, but she refused to give any vital information to the Nazis and she was sentenced to death. Miraculously, though, Irina was able to escape death due to help from the Zagotas, who bribed the guards and they released her from her imprisonment. She then took on a new identity and started working as a nurse until Warsaw was liberated. Irina continued to help the Zagota in many ways so that they could save even more Jews. But sadly, most of the parents of the children she saved died in the ghettos or death camps such as Auschwitz. After the war, Irina continued to throw herself into social work. She also joined the Communist Party, which by then had come to power in Poland. Over the years, she worked her way up through the party hierarchy and eventually became a member of the executive committee. She joined the Solidarity Movement early on, becoming a member in 1980. Helena Sendler went on to win several humanitarian awards. She was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize in 2008 and awarded the Order of the White Eagle the highest civilian award in Poland. Irina died in Warsaw in 2008, aged 98. I'll leave you with some of her words of wisdom. She once said, the term hero irritates me greatly. And also, People can be divided into good and bad, their race, religion or nationality doesn't matter. <laughs>